have it. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the next game. It's NRG versus Deception. Rocket League Championship Series implications on the line. Who's going to stick around and who's going home? We're finding all that out today as we finish covering North America. Let's get into the next game with the commentary. It's Wave Punk and Leaf. Take it away, guys. Desk believes in NRG. So, chat, got to send your NRG over towards Deception because they need all of it they can get. They need the 3-0 to have any opportunity at winning a win percentage tiebreaker. If they drop a single game, it's it, that that situation is over. That sort of scenario is over. This is it, everything is on the line for Deception right now. In all honesty, I, th I don't know if NRG really needs it too much. I mean, this is this is their series to lose. In mm -hmm. all honesty, I mean, Deception is coming in as one of the weaker teams in the league play. I mean, they're still one of the top eight in all of North America, but compared to NRG, mm -hmm. NRG is just looking better stat wise uh, mm -hmm. and just play wise. They're, and they're so unpredictable. And and for someone like Deception. It's going to be hard to try to read that. And as we talk, we talk about adaptation a lot. It's going to be so hard to do that in between games if you lose one to pull back because it's hard to read what NRG does. They're just yep. all over the place sometimes. Hopefully for them, Sad Jr. is going to be a little off like we saw last week. But if he's on, it is a rough game for Deception. And Deception has to just pull all of their tricks out right now. If they've got any trick plays they've been holding on to, they're going to get a kickoff goal right off the bat and corrupted G getting that point on the board. Dribbling this one around, got it off the kickoff, immediately sends it in. And we're seeing Deception coming out hot here in game number one. Yeah, I mean, a quick early goal like that is uh, it's definitely how you want to start it. We call mm -hmm. this the quick off, I think. Yeah, <laughs> you, can, you can coin that. Sad Jr. now going to try and push this one through. Rupa G in the air, tries to push it around, but can't get it past. That front line of NRG, and now Fireworks pushing it up. We see Jacob take a shot, can't quite get it through. Nice play by Vince, clearing it away. Fireburner, though, in to try and finish it off. That's what the desk was talking about. Fireburner always there to try and finish things. Yeah, I mean, it, it, one early goal is a good start. Two is a little, uh, you're asking for a lot at that point. But uh, oh, Vince well. gets it over the back line again, and it's a two-goal lead now for Deception. They're doing to me what they do to carpet, putting the words right back in my mouth. <laughs> two early goals for them. That's a good start, and, and that's really all they have to do at this point. Yep. Feed the ball to Vince, and he's going to finish it off for you. Well, you talked about earlier, they are number one in shots per game. If they can continue just to have amazing amounts of offense, Deception has an opportunity. Don't let NRG play their game. They play this one back out to midfield. Vince and Corrupted, they went for the pinch, but goes over to the corner. Now Vince with another shot onto net, gets it past two defenders. This is amazing coming out from Deception. What did I just tell you? Give the ball to Vince and he'll yep. score it. I mean, he gave that one to himself. A yep. nice follow-up from his own pass. The ball's going so fast, those defenders have no idea what's going to go on. Vince is like, all right, guys, I got you. They're able to get three in here in the first minute of gameplay. See if they keep it up or if NRG is able to kind of cool things off. There's Fireburner with a shot blocked away by Fireworks. They always will set up Fireburner. His accuracy is on point, but it does go straight to the goalie. Now, here comes Fireworks. Planted across that midline. Looking for an opportunity as Sad Jr. will set it around the corner. Out towards Vince. Fireburner on that last line will clear it away, but now Corrupted G looking to play this one off the backboard. Drops it back out towards Fireworks, who plays it back into the box, but cannot get it through Fireburner. Clears it away. Out to Jacob. Here comes NRG. NRG is going to have to look to Jacob to set up a lot more plays. Last week we saw him going off, being that playmaker, getting the balls out to his teammates. And as soon as he starts setting them up plays, you should see them start scoring. 324 left to go. Fireburner in the air will play it across midfield. No one in the position to pick up that pass. It'll be Corrupted G who plays it away. Now Deception playing so much more aggressive, so much more quick than they did in their match against G2. Either feeling warmed up or just feeling very, very good about their early lead here. Corrupted G tries to play it away but can't get it through. Now Vince into the corner. It's going to bounce around King Corrupted G. He sets it up on the backboard. Vince trying to play it through, but just followed toe-to-toe -to -toe by Sad Jr. Keeps that shot away. Now Jacob out to Sad Jr. Pops it high. Jacob looks to play it away from their own field. A three-touch transition play that Vince immediately closes and sends it back into the orange. They're keeping their offense going. I think Sad Jr. is a little overcompensating for some of his opponent's shots and he's whiffing on a couple reads here that his opponents just are simply not going for. There's a nice drop there, but Vince with the read off the wall. Play back out to midfield as we cross halftime, still 3-0 in favor of Deception. Now Jacob, trying to set that one through. Corrupted G plays it over the top of one. 
Ian Vince will follow out here. Vince takes it from him, plays it into the corner. We talked about Vince being that finisher, kind of being the fire burner equivalent here for Deception. So it's interesting to see him take that number one role away from Corrupted G. He plays it onto the wall. It's two times he's done it now. We've seen Sad and Jacob able to move up here. Fireburner lurking, looking for an opportunity, but Vince will clear it before he can get a wheel onto it. Now corrupted towards the backboard. Vince is in the air. It drops oh, in. Oh, no, my goodness, Jacob. the own goal from Jacob. Jacob, unfortunately, just gets the worst touch possible. Tries to read this off the backboard. Corrupted did have it set up for Vince. Vince was going to miss, but Jacob's like, let me just give you a hand. <laughs> that, was, that was a double tap into your own net. Unfortunate touch for NRG there as they now find themselves in a four-goal hole. Fireburner sending that one over the top. Can Vince get in the way? He does. The clear comes through. Deception keeps NRG scoreless. Vince continues to play that one through. Fireburner, can he get the fifth one on the board? It will be in. The burn continues right now for Deception. Yeah, Deception's like, let's start this off well. Let's just, yeah. you know, get as many to set it off, make NRG shake in their boots, and uh, just hope that carries through in the next few games. A, a trend I've seen stay pretty consistent in RLCS is if you're up by 4-0, you might as well be up by 8-0. They just continue to pound them on. It's very rare to see a team be down by 4 and come back. Actually, it's only happened once ever where a team's been able to come back and win a game after being down by 4. And I don't think it happened this late in the game. We've one twenty three, left to go. I think. There was a game that was good morning has come back from being down by 3 in overtime. And then I forgot. Oh, I mean, I'm blanking on who it was. But we did see at least one game where a team came back from 4-0 in regulation with, with take the win. But with 108 left, this is ridiculous. Here was Fireworks sends someone across. Doesn't quite go in. Just continue to pound the net here. NRG, at this point, just start thinking about game number two and what you're going to change up here because it's been all deception in game one. No, you're right. Now, honestly, I think it's just a bit of not being warmed up. I mean, I'm watching True. Jacob go for some of these passing plays. He's trying to set stuff up, but he's been a split second too hesitant on some of his moves. Fireworks. Play that one through. Now Vince out to corrupt G takes a shot, but it goes wide. 35 seconds on the clock, and it's all but over as Vince plays it out to the midfield. Jacob will just try and get a single point on the board here. If he can just dribble this one through, he does. Gets the solo play, and that's got to feel good there for NRG. They're not going to get shut out. As you said, I mean, even one goal can really help um, get you on that right foot coming to the next game. And as long as they're not giving up right now, NRG is like, hey, guys, stay in it. Yep. Let's just keep trying, get a couple goals, feel good. Going to game number two. 27 seconds left on the clock. Energy can get a few more in, make the score margin look a little bit nice, a little bit better. We'll see as they're up here. It's still continuing to play, which is good to see them not break form. If anything, use the final few seconds of this game as you know, kind of a way to practice what you're going to be doing in game number two is they get another one on the board. Jacob sending that one in from the pass from Fireburner. Fireworks wasn't able to get the clear. Does make it a three-point game, but nine seconds left. That's, gonna, that's still a ridiculous comeback. So Jacob's like, all right, guys, I haven't been able to pass the ball to you. How yeah. about I just score for you? Right. Two goals in the end there. I mean, maybe that's what they're going to do transitioning into game number two. Or maybe that's just what Jacob needed to do to get himself in the right mindset, saying, all right, guys, let me just hit the ball a couple times and get a feel for it. Maybe they'll get a comeback. Uh, if, if they do this, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just done. Fireburner with the excellent midfield shot. The defense is not quite there from Fireworks. That does make it a two-point game, which is with four seconds, you kind of need two quick offs in a row. But still, you, you, yeah, it's, it's Rocket League. I don't want to. I don't want to eliminate it until it hits one second. There we go. Now they can't score two. A close one there. They make it exciting towards the end. But Deception does take game number one. And I think that's all energy needed. Uh, in all honesty, I think they needed to hit the ball a couple times, get a couple shots in. And now we're going to see him go a little bit more off. As, as I pointed out, Jacob generally, the guy to get the passes out to his teammates, he got two of those goals in the end there mm -hmm. uh, fairly quickly in succession. And I, I think that's what he did. He's like, just let me feel this out. Let me get a couple touches. Coming into game number two, I'm going to feel a lot better about my play style. Sure. And get to that ball a lot quicker. Sure. And we were still seeing energy stay in form in kind of their normal state. Stats-wise, they had 15 shots, seven coming through from Fireburner. These guys continuing to put up ridiculous shots, only nine coming out from Deception. These are two of the top three teams as far as shots per game. And now so it's, it's really interesting to see that they were able to put that money up, and we only had seven saves from Deception, but only three goals from Energy. You say only nine shots. That's still a lot yeah, of shots, sure, in all sure. honesty. Um, they're a lot back and forth here. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
five goals. That's a pretty good shooting percentage from them, not, uh, five out of nine going yeah. in. Uh, and if they can keep that up in the game too, that'll be good for them. But I feel like it's going to be a much tougher battle. As we just said, energy is a little a little bit, uh, they got that locomotive moving forward a little bit now. Sure. And I feel like could potentially start to steamroll over. But Deception is warmed up as well. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, we were seeing NRG, like you said, they had not played yet today. We just had G2 warm up Deception for them. So if we're seeing, you know, we're seeing the NRG now starting to bounce up, a little bit warmed up. The end of that game looked much more in favor of them. We'll see if they continue that momentum that they were able to pick up at the end of game number one. So move on to Manfield here for game number two. Fireburner will set that one out to Sad Jr. Can he get there? He does. Just a one-two play from NRG, and they are first on the board. That's a, that's a quick one. They answered what Deception did the last game. Mm -hmm. Got a quick goal, and they're carrying they're carrying off of the momentum from game number one, really. And that's that's what they had to do. Three goals quickly in the last one. Get another one right now. Keep the steam roll going. And yeah, we said it about a minute and a half into game number one. The NRG needed to start thinking about game number two. So they're like, you know, let's not worry about winning game number one. Let's just build up some momentum. Let's build up some energy there that we can carry over. They do exactly that. They immediately strike here in game number two. Looking to do it again as Corrupted it plays that one into a dangerous place. Goes across his net, and Vince will get it past Sad Jr. But Jacob there at that midfield line passes out to Fireburner. 50-50 goes in favor of Corrupted G and back to Jacob. And leave it for Fireworks. He sets this one out for Vince. Sad Jr. gets it over the top, denying the striker the easy shot. Now Jacob looking to play it off the wall. We've seen Jacob make some incredible oh, plays oh, off the wall, oh. but it's Corrupted G who drops this one in for the tie game. In all honesty, I thought there would be someone there to contest. I was following Corrupted the whole time, but when he got up and used the soft underside, yeah. absolutely beautiful touch to get a far side placement. Just lobbing that over the last defender. Very, very good shot from Corrupted. Yep, an excellent point about the side of the car. He's using any other part of the car, and that goes off crossbar. Mm -hmm. Does not go in. Tie game now for Deception. This fireworks does not get the touch that time, and it's going to be the lead back in favor of NRG. It's your turn to be shut up. It is <laughs> definitely not tied anymore as they throw a nice one. Fireburner's gotten two of these now off the wall. Yeah. Getting It's that Batmobile, man. That thing gets under nice and tight and lifts that ball for a nice hard shot from anywhere. For sure, and NRG has now had two goals off of just two touches from kickoff. Playing very, very fast and efficient right now in game number two. Fireworks plays this one back out. Interruption from Sad Jr. will not allow Corrupted to send that one into the net. Fireburner loses the 50-50. It's in the corner with Sad. Corrupted G, nice play off the wall, but Jacob there before Vince could touch it and plays it over the top of Fireworks as well. Jacob just setting everything up here. Can Fireburner finish this yep. one off? He's got such a tight angle on it. It's two-goal lead now for NRG. In all honesty, that was a fairly easy shot for Fireburner because Jacob put a lot of work in here. Beautiful oh, yeah. read off Corrupted in the corner to get that nice rollout right to the top shelf. Defender has no chance of getting to that. And just hitting it immediately as it enters the box, immediately as it enters that goal space, Fireburner slams it through as the two-goal lead now. Vince plays it off the wall, and Fireworks will pass up. RPG hanging in the backfield, not being in a position to finish it off, but now Fireworks and Vince playing very well in the orange corner. Scrupted plays it past Fireburner, but Sad will cut Vince off and get the dunk on Fireworks. Nice play there by Sad Jr. His teammates hanging in the back. See what they are able to do as they have our setup on defense. Sad Jr. lost that one high, and Jacob plays it past two to an open backfield. Vince just hightails it back to goal. Sad Jr. saw that Vince would get there in time, falls back. Hopefully, hope we'll be playing for the extended offense here. So he knew that first play was countered by the quick min mindset of Vince. Now Fireworks. He's not able to get the setup as Fireburner sends it into the blue. There's a loft from Corrupted G. Vince does not get the touch in the air. And Sad Jr. Oh, Corrupted G gets a pass three. Jacob has to drag race this one out. Gets it around the corner. Fireworks. Playing it around. Fireburner in the air will play it across and back up to midfield. Back and forth. Both teams with scoring opportunities. So far, it's been okay. Can they finish that one? No, he plays it past the back line, and Sad Jr. will play it over to the side. As you said, both teams getting scoring opportunities. Vince had a couple misses uh, around that midfield line that stopped any advances they're trying to make. Uh, just got to make sure they're really hitting those. But oh, this is a good opportunity. Like the other one. There we go. Fireburner will send that one in. That demo right as they push into offense opened up lots of space for NRG. Just getting past the last defender there. A bit of a, a bad situation for Fireworks. And as you said, the demo really helps out. Nice open net there, and uh, Fireburner can finish it up. Right here, crossed halftime. One to four. In favor of NRG as they immediately respond in style. 
to the commanding performance from deception game number one. Sad Jr. looking to dribble this one in. Draws out two goalies, but they get a very solid clear up to Vince. He's able to get the 50-50 with Fireburner. Jacob in the air will play it back over towards Sad. Doesn't get a very strong touch off the wall, and that'll leave it with Corrupted G playing it off the backboard. A nice setup here, and Vince will finish. An excellent play from Deception as they respond. Hey, they saw that what well, NRG was doing and said, hey, let, let's try that as well. Nice backboard passes, one defender left, super hard to save, and Vince puts that in the perfect spot to keep it away from Fireburner. We see that just the, the kind of aggressive positioning from Fireburner sitting there right on the edge of the, the net, ready to leave the moment that he saw Fireworks or Corrupted G miss that one. And we've seen a couple plays this series come from being able to play one off the backboard with a goalie sitting right there at the post. And oh! what a play! That angle from Corrupted G to make it a one-goal game. They're coming back. Let's go Corrupted. He sees that touch come beautifully from Vince. What a pass from Vince to yeah. start it. And a nice little side touch from Corrupted to put that over last defender. That's going so fast. There's nothing you can do against that unless you're up preemptively. And with 150 left to go, they're only down by one. They have a lot of breathing room right they now. They do. They're crawling back into this. After we saw NRG build a substantial lead. Corrupted will play it in the corner and Sad and Jacob will move out. No pressure. Nice play by Vince. Easily winning the 1v1 with Vince there. So drops back out to the middle and then Sad will play it across to Jacob. Fireworks wastes that one. <laughs> kind of bounces off the top of the ball and Sad Jr. will set this one out. Can Jacob keep it? in a place where Fireburner can work with it. He's watching, he's gonna go up for it, and Fireworks does not get it. But Corrupted G will be able to play it out as Fireburner didn't get much of a touch yep. either, and oh, the pass plays, King Corrupted oh, finishes, drops it back in the box, and Vince finishes the one, two, one, two, back and forth, and they tie it up. Look at this counterattack. the second the energy messes up on offense, they move quick and fast. The beautiful oh, soft side oh. under touch there sets that down nicely for Vince. What a team play coming out from Deception. The way that they worked that up the field, corrupted to Vince to corrupt it back to Vince and into the net 105 and it's all tied up folks in game number two. Fireburner and Jacob looking to finish this one off. They want to be beaten here after having that substantial lead. It's the final minute of gameplay. They're trapped in their own box right now. Fireworks gets it past two and bounces it off the crossbar. Corrupted gets it over the top again. And Jacob will play it into the corner, relieving that pressure and now looking for the counter play. Can he set this one up? He's been made the setup man all weekend and Fireburner cannot get the shot as Vince plays it over to the side. They're playing for overtime right now. 30 seconds left. They could finish it in regulation. Oh, they absolutely could. And I mean, between the amount of shots from both of these teams, this could still go either way. NRG, when they get a play started on offense, is scary. Corrupted. Only got Sad Jr. in the back. Plays it on the backboard, and Vince is in the air. Cannot get it there. Excellent contention from Sad Jr. Blocking out Vince's shot. Now Fireworks looking for what Fireburner will do. He and Corrupted will fall back. Final countdown. Last opportunity to score for both sides. NRG tries to play it up. Fireworks puts it into the corner. It's lofted out to Jacob. We've seen him make obscene passes, but that is going to hit the ground, and we're going to have overtime in game two. Smart play from Sad. He knew if he got that pull shot, it would have pinched it nice out to midfield and gave him a little more breathing room. He was playing for overtime. That's really what they had to do. Get a reset on the kickoff. Start oh, fresh. Oh, Corrupted G blocks it. Can Sad Jr. finish it off? He's going to fall back on the defense, leave it for Fireburner. Pinch sends it over to the side. But Jacob looking to play it through. Fireworks puts it up on the backboard. Corrupted G very deep in enemy territory, does not get the redirect. And Vince will just play it over the top of himself by some teammates for his time to get set up on defense. Does it go in? No, it's just high. Fireburner keeps it in the box, and Jacob in the air cannot get it through Corrupted. It's still in a dangerous spot until Fireworks plays it over the top of Fireburner. And he'll be able to get it all the way into the corner. The Sad Jr. in the back keeps the long range siege going. 42 seconds into overtime, Jacob plays it high and gets bumped by Vince. Be corrupted, G. Over to the side. Can he finish this one off? Gets a pass and it goes wide of the goal. Had gotten it past all the goalies but could not get the shot onto net. Now Sad Jr. plays it back into the corner. See if they can break out of their own half. Sad Jr. has been playing back, excuse me, so much this, uh, this entire series. Like he's just letting Fireburner and Jacob go off on offense and just waiting to get long cleared. And that's why you see it head back into deceptions and so quickly all the time. Corrupted G. Playing it up. Can he get it out of his own half here? Sad Junior. Oh, the demo oh, onto the goalie, but Vince is still there. The way he was able to be in goal, it keeps them alive here with 130 into overtime. Fireburner's shot goes high, and Fireworks will play it straight down the middle. Jacob has to fall back on the aggressive shot. 
Be able to play this one around. Out to midfield again. If Deception loses one game, they lose any hope at having tiebreakers fall in their favor. And they were so close to losing this one. They had so much on the line, and they've bounced back. Can they get the full comeback here in game two? It's Fireworks to play it over the top of Fireburner. Sad Jr. falls back to pick up Boost and looks to buy time in the corner. It goes up high. Vince plays it out. Can't corrupt it. Get it over the top. No, he doesn't get the touch. Sad Jr. followed that along perfectly. And now he's up with an opportunity to set it out to Fireburner. Puts it high. Vince there continuing to hold on for his team. 2-14 into overtime. It's still just tied up. Yeah, it's rough, though. They're getting these team passing plays up. Deception is... But they got to watch about overcommitments. They're getting very close to pushing it just a little bit too far. Energy will capitalize if they see that opportunity arise. Rough and GM Fireworks right here at 2.30. Halfway into game number two of, of two, <laughs> basically. Vince with an opportunity. Does not get the setup. Fireworks puts it onto the backboard. Vince might be able to get the tight angle here as he drops it through. Does oh, it go all the way in? Oh, no, it bounces off the post. An excellent play. Is that Junior's able to get it away? Do they finish? No, Jacob gets the block. They continue to pound shot after shot. Number one team in shots per game. They continue to knock on the door of Energy. Energy has to be pooping their pants after that one. That was just so <laughs> close. Way too close for comfort. Vince in the corner. He's now trailing Sad Junior, who gets the pinch out to midfield. Fireburner. Goes to pick up boost and play it off the wall. Jacob looks, see if he can work with what he gives him. It'll be Vince who picks it up, lays it down. Crepigee in the air will just take an outright shot. Jacob sends it over to the side. And now fireworks. Can't get it through Jacob in the corner. Vince immediately looks to respond. That's two oh. upfield. Jacob with an open backfield. Can they do anything with it? It goes wide. Fireburner plays it off the backboard, which gives Vince time to rotate. He'll be able to clear that one away. Keep us alive here. 3.37 into overtime. No one has been able to score. First goal will win. As Vince sends it back out. Fireburner to Jacob. Get it with the back pass to Sad Jr. Buying a little bit of time here. Leaving some tension for just a moment. This one's so close, Leaf. It's so great to watch Jacob. Like that back pass that you called out before. He had no other options. He's like, well, let's at least just keep possession. A lot of people don't realize that Hitting the ball backwards is a very good thing a lot of times. Oh, Sad Jr. plays that one onto the backboard. Fireburner is up but cannot get the shot. 4-12 in overtime. They play it underneath. Can Fireburner finish? Sends this one onto net. Is it there? Still Vince who gets the save. Sad Jr. with another shot on net. Blocked by Corrupted. And Jacob in with the third. It goes high. Is Fireburner there? No. Sad Jr. drops it down and Fireworks plays it up to midfield. Both teams with opportunities to win it. And the defense shuts it down. Now Fireburner will play it over to the side. And Jacob drops it for Sad Jr. Who just falls back. Let's Firework play it away. He and Vince trying to push it through. It's Corrupted who's on the back line. And will move out. Play it across. Up into the corner. 4.45, approaching going, a full second game. They're going for the record. I think it was try. like six minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't even remember. It's so long. We're going to get six games for the price of five possibly here. It's Corrupted G plays it over to the side. Now with an opportunity in the box, blocked away by Jacob. These teams so even at the moment. They'll be able to get that long, hard clear. No one in the backfield. Oh. Is Vince there? He rotates so fast. We've seen Vince many times. As soon as he fails on offense to finish off the shot, he just falls back on a defense, and the breakaways continue to get shut down. The issue a lot of times in these overtimes, you see people start to get way too defensive. Neither one of these teams is giving up on any of the aggression, and they're all hitting so confidently, and they're getting the best possible touches they can. Jacob oh! with the roll. He gets it in the demo on the fireworks by Fireburner. Finishes it off in 532. The second I saw that coming in, it was over. Fireburner so smart. One defender left. Let's oh. just get him out of there so there's none. Jacob with an easy, clear open net shot. And they hold on after we saw Deception come screaming back into this game after two, after a full game of overtime. We see Energy finally finish it off, That's and they stressful. do they do shut down Deception's hopes of having the win percentage tiebreaker there with that win. Oh my goodness, though, what a game. 15 shots again coming out from NRG. Took them two games to accumulate the same shots they did in the first game. But my goodness, what what was that? A, a lot of shots and a <laughs> lot of Rocket League. That was incredible, though. I mean, it was wow. so close. Deception is, uh, I mean, taking the first one, they came in strong, and they were looking to come in strong in the second one. Energy did figure out what they had to do a bit, but mm -hmm. there was a, they were down. Deception was down mm -hmm. in the series, or in the game, sorry, and they came back from that. Like, that's, they're showing 
Uh, such good gameplay. As I said, yeah. every single touch they're getting is good. Like, they're yeah. not giving away bad touches. Yeah, and it was we saw in the first game Deception get out to that 5-2 to two score margin. It was like, all right, how does NRG respond? And about at halftime, it was 4-1, to one, I think, in favor of NRG. And it was like, okay, this mm -hmm. is how they respond. They just immediately yeah. bounce back with that sort of aggression. And then to watch Deception continuously just claw their way back into it and force us into that five-minute overtime, oh my goodness, that was enjoyable. That was that was an amazing game to watch. Well, it's going against what I thought. I thought NRG would come back and, and just steamroll it at this point. Oh, yeah. But they, they are... Resorting to what we saw last week, mm -hmm. where they're keeping Sad Jr. back yes. quite a bit. Maybe still not feeling up to par in his play style. Mm -hmm. So they're like, okay, hey, guys, just stay back and we'll go up and forward. Jacob's starting to get a lot of the smart touches. I saw him almost single handedly get that long shot goal um, a bit into overtime there. Uh, by himself and yeah. on the wall he's playing confidently now and that's something that Deception really has to watch out for. Yeah, and they're respecting the way that Deception likes to play. Like we've, we've said a number of times that they're number one in shots per game. They, they definitely like to play a very highly aggressive game and I think that's what we saw from NRG in game number one is they were continuously getting punished by that. They were continuously having to play back and then in the moment that we were seeing Deception get the, the transition play out they would score and just put it on and so they're like alright we have to have a defender. We have to have someone hang back. Who's our best setup man? Jacob. Who's our best finisher fire burner okay well there we go we're gonna be able to play that one way and and then leave sad in the back and it leaves for a slower game like we saw in game number two but it did result in the win i mean it doesn't matter how slow the game is if you're walking away with a win right i mean that was extreme that was a little bit to the extreme like five six minutes overtime slow but it worked out for them in the end uh they were able to clutch away with a goal in the overtime but it's it's on a spot you really want to put yourself in because it's sudden death you give away one more goal mm -hmm. and it's over so i expect nrg now that especially since Jacob looks a little more warmed up, to really start to walk away with the lead in this and maintain it this time. They gave it away last time. They should get it and maintain it this time. We'll see what they're able to do as we move into game number three. We've now seen both teams take a win. So we were tied up at one and one in the series. How do you feel like we, we, so we've seen that we talked about how Sad Jr. is now on the defense for energy and that's really worked out. What is Deception going to do to kind of counter that, do you think? What's Deception going to do? I mean, in all honesty, they're not going to do anything different. They're getting a lot of shots on net. Yes. And all their touches are proper. Their passes have been coming up clutch. Their backward passes. And as long as they don't get intercepted by NRG, they're going to keep working. There's no reason they won't. Game number three underway on DFH Stormy here. Vince will play that one through, get an opportunity, set it up for Corrupted G, but he did not expect that shot opportunity to materialize, and he had already started to fall back. So that'll be a stroke of luck there for NRG. Vince now looking to drop this one back into the box. Didn't get it through, plays it over to the side. Fireworks. Tries to go around. Oh, what a shot. I did not think that was going in, but Sad Jr. gets first blood on the board. He knew it was going in. Right off the crossbar, good placement. I mean, he had Vince in the way. He had to just get it. There's nowhere else he could have put it. Vince yeah. covered the, uh, all the corners from that first half of the net. He had to put it to the far side. Very good shot placement. 431 into game number three. That is NRG with the lead. See how Deception responds here as they have an opportunity. A nice drop by Vince, but Fireburner's positioning will clear it away. Fireworks. We'll play that one through as Jacob drops this one down. Onto the hood of Corrupted G. He's going to follow his own touch, try and drop it with the soft side. Nice. Can Fireworks finish? No. Sad Jr. continues to tackle. Excellent defensive plays from Sad Jr. No, you're right. And it doesn't matter that he's back a lot because it's working. He's doing his job properly. And uh, he's just really good at reading shots from the opponents. He followed up two with one aerial there. Yeah, he did. That was really impressive. Watch him get those two touches on two different players. Now Jacob playing that one through Sad Jr. Oh. Over to Jacob, going to try and drop it through. Can he get there? No, it'll play over to the side. It almost actually worked out because Firebird was, was expecting the touch from Jacob right. to go on there. So he played it patiently in case it was going to go back to the to the short side. And RG now up on the offense, looking to extend their lead here in game three. Sad Jr. plays it around the corner. Fireburner will take a shot to the far side again. Two players in net, you think they'd get it, but it's two goals for NRG. That Batmobile hits hard and precise to the far side, two defenders. He sees the Vince is backwards and says, well, you're not saving this one. And the other guy just got to net. Far side, you're not saving this at all. 3.20 left to go. Game number three. And NRG with the two-goal lead. They take the win here. They move up to match point. 
continue to play this one up as I get another demo onto Krupa G, setting up the shot here for Jacob. Can he play this one past Vince? The pinch will send it into the corner. And now Fireworks will play that one out. Corrupted already in the air. Really nobody touched that one until Jacob comes in from the back and leaves it for Vince. Takes a nice long shot, blocked by Sad. Vince looking to get another one, sends it off the backboard. Corrupted was expecting an angle to come through, but he sets it out for Fireworks. Working with what he's got. Tries to create scoring opportunities, and now he's coming up again. Winning the 50-50s. Lots of 50-50s going in favor of Deception right now. Vince will lose out that one. A touch from Jacob sends it all the way to the other side. Vince now in the air. Realizing he doesn't have it, just drops back down. Seeing Deception up on the offense a lot. Getting some nice, nice setup opportunities, but just not able to get the final touches to send it towards the net. They're losing out on a lot of their 50-50s, in all honesty, and that's why it slowly keeps working its way back down towards their end. Just has to be a little bit smarter about the touches. Watch their opponent's car positions and what they're doing with it and go off their habits from the previous games. They'll win a little bit more 50-50s. Sad Junior. Set this one back towards Jacob, who plays it off the wall. A very strong wall player Jacob is. And Vince plays it to Corrupted. He tries to take a shot, but Sad Jr. able to be there. No one really at home in the backfield right now. Corrupted has to fall back very quickly. That's three players in the corner for NRG. If yeah. they can get a very solid clear here, Deception has an opportunity. A good play is there from NRG, continuing to maintain ball control just long enough to let Jacob fall back. He'll be the one to play this one in the corner. It's corrupted, sets this one out to Vince, puts it off the backboard. Fireworks is up, but cannot get it through Fireburner. The three-man play opens up the backfield. If Sad Jr. can just get this one out to Jacob, he's going to try and play this one off the wall. Corrupted G, the pinch will drop down. Almost got it. Fireburner Ooh. tries to get the angle, but Fireworks meets him in the air, sends it to the side. We talk about unorthodox plays. I mean, Sad had the opportunity to chip that one out to about midfield where Fireworks, or Fireburner, sorry, was sitting to get a shot on net. But he's like, I'm just going to force this through myself. Right. With 104. Left on the clock. It's all up to Deception. It's fireworks. I think this is the third time Fireworks has gotten demoed in the backfield. Got to wonder at what point that starts to get into your head anytime you see an NRG player coming at you. Sad Jr. will play this one down the middle. Corrupted G gets it over the top. Fireburner falls back. Try and respond quickly, but Vince gets it around him, sends it towards the net, and Jacob will get the clear. 42 seconds left, and it's still no points on the board for Deception. And I like what you talked about before, about when it gets in your head. We call that conditioning. When you start to create a situation for your opponents, they're going to expect every time, as you said, someone comes towards him, he's going to be antsy, and his mind's going to be somewhere else now. Condition, yep. Conditioning sorry, is such a high-level play mechanic. Our mentality, and I love to see it in action here. Yeah, we see that this, just the presence from a player. If they're able to get, get a couple demos like that, then just their presence can do exactly what they need to and move the player out of position. But here we're seeing Deception try to create a goal. If they can get it in, Fireworks sends it in, and it bounces off the corner. Jacob gets the clear to the side. They needed that one, and then they needed another one very quickly. They were going to be able to come back into this one, and NRG will be able to take two games in a row. They've got Deception on match point. There it is, and I, it's not exactly the steamroll that I, I talked about, sure. but they definitely are starting to, well, they are figured out what they need to do. And it's maybe not the play style I was expecting, but it's the play style that's working. A lot less shots than we saw from the previous sure. games, like by a mile, but still a win for them. Absolutely, and interesting that they had to pull off six saves to make that one work on only seven shots from Deception. Much, much more... I don't know, even like normal looking kind of stat page here we saw for these matches where we were seeing some ridiculous numbers from game one and two. But NRG able to really, really step it up here completely. And they put in they put in those two goals and then they're like, all right, it's just hunger down on defense. Hold on. Don't let them score anything. We got the win. Absolutely. I mean, uh, even sad. I mean, his defense has been super strong. You saw him that one time go up for an aerial, get an under dunk and then a, a, another over dunk. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. on there's every kind of yeah. dunk possible. Yeah. Uh, to, to pull through two attackers with one single aerial, like the control and the patience from Sad right now on defense is mm. really critical in allowing Fireburner and, and Jacob to move up the field. And when Sad does finally move up the field, he does some weird stuff. I mean, we yeah. saw, again, that, that place, I'm like, he just forces his way through when he had a passing opportunity, mm -hmm. but it works sometimes because it catches your opponents off guard. Yeah, and, and the way that we see he's he's mixing up that play style. You, you talked about conditioning earlier, and you know, right now they've kind of condition of the Sad Junior's hanging in the back. So they're like, all right, we have a two-man offense to deal with with Jacob and Fireburner. But then all of a sudden, Sad Junior's like, all right, I've got an opportunity. I'm going to dribble this one up. And now they're like, okay, well, we've 
been ready for the yep. two-man offense. Now what do we do with the three-man offense? That sort of condi conditioning can work in a number of ways. So it's cool to see the energies pulling out these strats. The way that they were able to respond immediately from game number one and be like, hmm, what are we doing wrong? Let's change these things. And it's just working for them here in these first two games. They've got deception on match point. It's really impressive to watch the way they've bounced back. Well, when you when you slow the game down like this, you're able to do a lot more with conditioning, mm -hmm. with your mix-ups. The mental game becomes a little more prevalent and you're, you're able to start applying some of the, that skill set. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing right now. NRG is doing a very good job of taking it to that next level, showing why they're one of the best, and uh, they've been one of the best since like the beginning sure. of, of Rocket League. So it's uh, since the beginning of time. Yeah. They, they've been near the top, and it, there's a reason for that. It's because their mental game is above it. And if they can control the pace of the game like that to allow that to shine, that's just next level. And yeah. I expect them, honestly, to probably take this one. Deception isn't out yet, but energy really knows what they have to be doing. Absolutely. Yeah, you two talk about like, controlling the game. Right now, they're doing a lot of ball control. They're being able to, to control everything on their own half. And then we've been talking about the mental game, talking about the conditioning. If they're controlling the mindset of their opponents, at that point, you, you have the, the win in the bag. If they're able to keep this up, I want to see Deception be able to kind of bounce back, kind of shake off the, the, the trends that NRG has set for them here as game four gets underway and everything's on the line. NRG looking strong. Sad Jr. Even that back line as he has been all series. Jacob with support will be able to keep the shots from materializing here for Deception. So fireworks tries to put that one high, but no one went for it. And that'll leave it with Jacob who puts it onto the backboard. Vince puts it over to the side. Where Jacob had immediately rotated, man. He put it onto the backboard himself and then was like, I know where this is going, and just moves over to the side, trying to keep the pressure on. And there's that back pass you're talking about straight to Sad Jr. gets the hard clear. You're right, and, it, and looking out for each oh. other like that, that was oh. a bad touch from Fireworks as he puts that right in front of their own net. Thankfully for them, it didn't go in. It's but, still uh, a dangerous spot. Can Jacob finish it? No, Fireworks will get the, after getting the, the soft touch, he does get the hard <laughs> clear. <laughs> and the counterplay, he puts it straight in. Oh my goodness, what a crazy beginning. So Fireworks got a, an initial good read at the beginning of the game. Then he got kind of a bad one there to put it in front of his own net. But he's like, sorry guys, <laughs> I'll, you know what, I owe you this one. I owe you two, an open net. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's it all the way. What an amazing play there. As Fireworks gets Deception the lead here in game four. NRG now looking to respond to see if they can just put it away right now. Vince over to Corrupted. They're going to play it off the backboard and it's going to bounce out. Firebringer Jacob in the air. Fireworks puts it back over to Vince. Who wasn't really sure what to do and just kind of falls back and picks up boost. Fireworks and Corrupted were both drawn out by that shot from NRG, but no immediate pressure comes through and they are able to reset. Now Jacob sending it over the side. Let's Sad Jr. get set up in the back. Plays it out. Looks for the hard clear, passes to Jacob. He just push this one through, gets it through that back line, and it'll be up on the wall. This Firebringer looks to drop this one across, just barely can't get into the net. They keep the pressure on, can you get it this time? Nope, doesn't go in that time either. Many, many shot opportunities coming through for NRG right now, but just nothing quite finding the goal. I, th I think Deception really needs to realize they have a little bit more time. I mean, Energy's really good with Firebrenner and Jacob on offense themselves, but Sad Jr. is far back. I sure. mean, you guys can take a little bit more time moving past that midfield because he's not right there to pressure it every time. Jacob. It's a demo on a Corrupted G, but Fireworks with ball control. Push it towards the box. Now Jacob, nice pass out to Sad Jr. Sends it towards the net. Off the backboard can Jacob finish. Puts it just wide of the goal and then carries it into the corner. Firebrenner looking for his opportunities. Doesn't see what he likes. Falls back for boost. He'll be the first man to respond to this ball. So he's able to get a 50-50 with Vince, who bumps Sad Jr. in net, opening the blocks of space, but Fireworks couldn't get the shot. And that'll allow Sad to reset. Vince gets it through two. And Jacob plays it over the top of Vince. It was a dangerous spot for NRG. Fireworks looks to play this one through the corner right here at halftime. It's still just a one-point lead for Deception. As they look to send us to game five, holding on with just a hope and a prayer. It's Fireburner. As I said, it's out. Fireworks now. Sends it around and it'll go back out to the middle. What'll Vince be able to do here? Puts it back out to Fireworks, who takes the shot onto the net. An excellent one two play and fantastic positioning for Fireworks gives the two goal lead to deception. What did I talk about? Fireworks precision. I mean, Vince had two options, both Corrupted and Fireworks were there. He just had to throw that back out to about the midfield line. Someone was going to take the shot. Thankfully for Deception, it was Fireworks, top shelf, beautiful precision. 2.05 left to go. Plenty of time for NRG to bounce back into this one. Finish it off here and now in game four. 
The scoring opportunities have been plentiful from NRG, but they have not been able to get it through anybody on Deception's side. Krupa gets the soft touch over in the direction of Vince, who moves up and gets it past Fireburner, but Jacob now plays it over the top of Fireworks towards the goal. Corrupted will play it away. Vince pops it high. This could be bad if Sad Jr. goes up. He waits to see what Jacob does, who plays it into the corner. Sad Jr. continues to play it into the air. Oh, and Corrupted gets it past Fireburner, and that's a three-goal lead now for Deception. Jacob maybe shouldn't have gone for this one. He did have a teammate back, and instead they both committed. Fireburner was, uh, was not in net anymore. Jacob could have rotated back. And a nice easy shot, once you got it over it, that's all you had to do. You didn't have to put it anywhere special, you had an open net. For sure. But even just Fireworks missing that contention there, Jacob most likely was going to fall back for boost in the corner. Probably wouldn't have gotten there either way. NRG now finds themselves three goals down in game four. It's deception has been able to respond, keep the ball over in the orange half a lot, and just keep their net clean. The stronger defense has really helped. Playing that one over the top of Sad is going to help as well. And now Fireburner dropping this one in a dangerous spot, cleared by Vince. And it'll be Sad Jr. out to Vince. Clears it across the midfield line. Grab G over to the side, goes up the wall. He'll play this one back down into the box, and Jacob is there. Final minute of gameplay. NRG's got to score three. Just quite the comeback in any situation. With 43 seconds left, it's even more ridiculous. Sad Jr. plays that one over the top of two. It's just corrupted in the back here. So Jacob tries to pass it to Sad, but corrupted just keeps the position and keeps and zones out Sad Jr.'s shot. 30 seconds remaining. Energy here up on offense, but still not even, they're not providing nearly as much pressure as I would expect for a team that's down by three. Well, I mean, the reason for that is deception, even when they're, uh, when they're on defense and they're getting a midfield boost and running back and grabbing it, they're uh, they're bumping the uh, the offenders uh -huh. or the offense from NRG. Wow, corrupted, just playing it straight over the top of Jacob. And if there was, if the game wasn't over, it's over now. There's only eight seconds left. They're down by four. Deception stepping it up huge here in game four. No, you're right. I mean, they're 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 taking what. It's standard, I guess, standard plays and taking them outside of the box. Uh -huh. And as, as I said, not only are they they're bumping on offense, they're, they're bumping when they're on defense and they're at the midfield rotating back to defense. It's really cool because it blindsides your opponents. They have no idea that you're coming and it, it just catches them off guard. It kills any plays. For sure. And Deception, the way the Deception is held on here in this series, there haven't been many, many like really big score differentials here on the side of NRG. We had that ridiculous overtime in Game 2 and then Game 3, both going in favor of NRG. But Deception taking Games 1 and 4, sending us to Game 5, Leaf. That's, they're, they're making it exciting here. Yeah, I mean, Game number 5, and I, I, maybe I'm mistaken because they gave away some games, but this could bode well for some of the other teams like G2. Sure. Um, I'm just leaving all that stuff to Gibbs, in yeah, all honesty. That's right. <laughs> um, there are so many crazy situations we could have here, but it's nuts that all these teams are, are getting this so close. Like, Deception just, like, coming through so so well right now against mm -hmm. NRG. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's going to put NRG in a weird spot, too. Like, everybody is going to be in a weird spot after this. I love how close it is because yeah. nothing is certain at this point. Yeah, it's so it's so crazy the way that this game is going right now. 12 shots from Deception. I think that's the most we've seen from them today. Playing in their top form, a team that likes to put lots of shots on, and just able to continue to shut down. The thing I saw that I think really, really stepped it up for them here was winning their 50-50s and getting – they had a couple kind of lucky moments on defense, especially there at the beginning of the game where they saw just so many shots, and they're just like, what is happening? That touch from Fireworks to drop it straight back down. NRG tries to pressure, and they just manage to get the blocks in their own net. And, ha, ah, well, we go to game five, and I'm excited to see how this one's going to go. It's going to be nuts. I mean, Deception is keeping up against NRG. It's, you know, maybe – this isn't working out. Maybe keeping set isn't, they're gonna have to put him forward a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, because when they are on offense, I think Deception has figured it out. They know that they only have two people attacking them now, and they're breaking out a lot quicker. Game five. Underway here on Urban Central. So start off with Deception up on the offense. The winner will take the series here. NRG looking for that top two finish. The win would do them great favors. They try to play that one over the side. Sad Jr. played it up to the middle of the field, but Deception is continuing to pressure here as that one yeah. goes towards the net. Fireburner will be able to clear it away, but Deception continuing to meet him at the midfield. 
Continuing to put shot after shot on the net here. NRG looking completely trapped. Finally, they get it across that midfield line, and Fireburner will carry it into the corner. He and Jacob looking to score, but Vince putting it back out. Sad Jr. plays up and gets it past Vince. A critical 50-50 win from Sad Jr., and he's got a nice setup here. So it goes over to the side. No one went up to meet it. Fireburner will send it out to Jacob, but Fireworks reading that one well. will send it over to the, the wall. And right here... 357 left to go. Still scoreless. Both teams playing it close. As you said, I mean, it's it's going to be close in game number five. As as Deception has figured out what they had to do on defense, and they're breaking out a lot quicker, Energy now has to figure out a new strat and formulate a new plan to like be like, all right, uh, well, they've got us. What do we do now? NRG pressuring, looking for a scoring opportunity. As Corrupted G plays that one out to the middle of the field where Vince is. He'll fall back, let Fireworks move up. Now Fireworks Corrupted G will fall back, let Vince play this one out. Defensive rotations holding on strong for Deception. As both teams look for that first goal. Corrupted plays it onto the wall. Is able to draw Sad Jr. up with him, but Fireworks does not get a very good clear, which leaves it for Fireburner, dropping nice. it into the net. All oh, cleared by Corrupted G. Just as the Fireburner Jacob Blake came out, Corrupted G is able to shut it down, and now Vince, can he get it through the back line? No, Fireburner plays it straight up, back over to Jacob. The play is coming in through for both sides right now. No, you're right. I mean, it's that was a scary spot. Jacob almost was able to keep the pressure on, but he flipped just a little bit too far past it, and understanding what your car can do, uh, is definitely a critical thing at this level. Um, and you don't want to be throwing yourself out of position like that. Sad Jr. playing this one high. Jacob's up to try and respond, but Vince will get it away from him. Now Fireburner sets it off the backboard. Sad Jr. up to play the exact same play back to back. The second time it works, NRG's on the board first. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? right. Off the backboard, great passing plays. Fireworks was in a good spot to block that, but Sad Jr. just found the smallest opening he could to put that in net. 2.32 left to go. NRG just looking to hold on. If they win this series, they will tie Genesis in wins, which gives them a lot of comfort moving into their next series. Fireburner with the breakaway immediately off of kickoff, able to send that long shot in and get it a two-goal game. Kickoffs are a great place to get momentum fast, and Fireburner's done that a few times now. One with that chip off the wall in uh, game two, I think it was, and, uh, and now this one. Just really good awareness from Fireburner to get to that ball quick. They're able to pull off the win here. Their second match of the day versus Orbit. Be a lot less, low, a lot lower stress of a situation. As they will be able to at worst end the series end the season at five and two. Possibly six and one. I want high stress, man. <laughs> we'll see. This what is the final week of league play. We need a lot of stress. Well, you, you better be a deception <laughs> fan at this point. They, they know the energy they can get right now. Sad Jr. sends a third one onto the net right here at 205. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Last defender back tries, just a weird drop down. I mean, that was not the best backward touch you could have got as a defender. And uh, just a weird spot for it to be. 205. Deception. Everything on the line. Needing the win to try. Just move up to two wins. Fireburner going to try and set that one high. Jacob will wait patiently. Draws out lots of defenders. Draws out the entire Deception team, but they do win the 1v3. And now, Fireworks and Corrupted G. Looking to create scoring opportunities to Sad Jr. with the breakaway. We'll send that one straight through the back line. It's a 4-0 game. Energy looking in top form right now. Now we're starting to see a bit of missed touches coming out from Deception. That's all it really was. I mean, Corrupted missed one off the wall there, and I think that was Vince that put one right out to the opponents. These missed touches cannot come out. You're playing so well in earlier in the games. Why is this suddenly happening? Make sure you're getting good touches. Fireworks now trying to play that one over with 134 left to go and down by four. They've come back from being down by, f by yeah, three right. before, but this is still a ridiculous comeback. Like they were, they definitely had more time to work with in game number a lot two. More time. So this is looking, looking pretty grim for Deception. They've got to turn it up immediately. They want to have a hope of being able to pull off the win here. And RG, gonna, if they can get number five, Fireburner will send it over to the side, just wide of the goal. Fireworks will put it over. Interesting to see NRG still committing so much when they're up by so much. Fireworks will send it over to the side. And the final minute of gameplay, after dropping two games, NRG looking to bounce back, finish this one off, and send Deception home. Corrupted G sends that one off to the side. It's Fireburner who immediately puts it up. 
Fireworks back out to the midfield. Vince nice. with the breakaway opportunity sends it. Oh, sends it wide oh. to the goal. Can't get it in. It'll bounce off the backboard. Can G pass out to Fireworks? He'll be able to win the 50-50, but it's not a shot on the net. Now Fireburner looking to play it through. It's a nice play off the wall. With 30 seconds left, it's all over at this honestly, point. Honestly, when they missed that open net, it was yeah. over. That was, you could see their dreams just dying and deflating. Like it was, you miss an open net like that, you needed that little bit of energy left to push yourselves forward for those the remainder three goals in 30 seconds. It's, it's no, you're not, you're not in a good state after that. I mean, at this point, F to pay respects to Deception. They played an amazing season. Gave us some fantastic series here, but they will be ending the season at 1-6. And, and NRG able to tie up Genesis as far as wins go. They're keeping it interesting here. We still don't know who that top two is going to be. That's true. And, I mean, now that definitely I don't think bodes well for, for G2 mm -hmm. as well. But, again, yes. I have no idea what's going on with this whole thing. It's craziness <laughs> right now. But congratulations <laughs> to NRG. I mean, they eventually figured out what they had to do. Mm -hmm. They pulled it back. They slowed it down a lot, much slower than, uh, than we first saw it. Because when they were playing fast, Deception was keeping up. And we yep. saw that crazy long overtime between the two of them because Deception was playing fast. Mm -hmm. And when NRG took control of the pace, it just it got Deception's head, as we were talking about and explained before, and there's just nothing Deception could do to pull it back. Yep, that was it was how the series went between NRG and Deception. Going to come down to that game five and end with an emphatic statement from NRG as they are able to take it 4-0. Well done by Deception. Well done by NRG as they move up and they're tying up for that number one spot. We'll send it back over to the analyst desk. Gibbs, Axeltoss, guys, tell us what's going on because it's crazy today. Thanks, Wave, Punk, and Leaf. It is pretty crazy. We're crunching the numbers uh, the entire way through. We do know that Deception is officially eliminated from the RLCS. They will be in the bottom spot currently at 1-6, and six, but they showed a lot of fight there against NRG, sticking it through to the end. NRG, congrats to them. 3-2 three to, three to victory, trying to stay alive to get that top two, but let's take a look at the Mobile One high-performance replay from that match to see exactly how NRG was able to get that done. Energy won the series, but I bet they wanted it to be a little bit cleaner than that. They gave up nine goals in the first ten minutes of play, and then that super long overtime in Game 2 shut out uh, Deception, and Game 3 shut them out, but inconsistent defense is really plaguing them right now. It just seemed to be that as soon as that overtime went in favor of Energy, they're like, well, they, we just gave it all we got, and it still wasn't good enough, and they just started to look a little bit more demoralized, but then they came back, they had some crazy shots, you saw Corrupted, like that pass play, like Great. one, two, and then immediate follow up afterwards was so good. Just not enough. Like the creativity behind this energy team, and then demos just making all options available. Yeah, five minutes and 30 seconds into the overtime, and a demolition causes that goal to happen. That's what well, energy loves to do, and they finally got to show it there. Uh, they've been doing a lot less because they've had Sayah Jr. playing way back as that third man, and I'm not sure if that's the best way for them to go about it because they've seemed to be a lot more uh, inconsistent when he's that third man back, but that is what they're trying for. But Fireburner is just going off. He's going ham. It's probably because he was scoring so much from the third rotation. They're like, hey, let's bring you up more with Jacob, and he continues to score, but their right. defense is starting to... Uh, laps a little bit here. And that's I think that's part of the reason why is you see that third man come up, scores the goals. And nobody else is going to do it, so why not me? So when they put them into that rotation, it does change it up a little bit. I'm glad that they're doing that stuff now before they kind of figure it out for playoffs when it's really, really important. So make sure you guys kind of work out those kinks and then play back. Just not enough for deception. They played strong. They showed some opportunities, just not able to clutch it in the end. Yeah, every game really important, every moment important. Uh, that moment with the demolition from NRG uh, literally kicked Deception out of the league uh, yeah. after that goal was scored, after that game was won. Because Deception, to stay alive, they needed to win that 3-0. So we're going to keep you guys updated all day long as the results continue to roll in here on the final week of league play for North American RLCS. The next match coming up is a doozy. It's NRG versus Orbit. Who's Orbit? Well, they used to be Exodus. Both of these teams near the top vying for a trip to Amsterdam, which they could both in theory, secure before the end of the day. So we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back with more of the Rocket League Championship Series. Stay tuned.